Checking in at number five, Hassan Whiteside. Averaging four blocks a game and about 12 rebounds. Consistency there and a defensive presence. Now without Dwayne Wade and then possibly Chris Bosh not returning because of illness, all of a sudden Hassan Whiteside has been thrust into the leadership role. Number four, Mark Gasol. Now, only played 52 games last year, but let's hold up now. This guy was highly considered as the best big man in the game a couple of years ago, and I'm not gonna penalize him because of injury. I know he can get it done, if healthy, and I expect him to rebound for the Memphis Grizzlies, one of the best passers in the game that we're gonna see, and a guy that can get it done in the paint and can step out and knock down 15 footers. Number three, Andre Drummond a rebounding machine, a beast, and has a great touch inside, despite not having a touch from the free throw line. Go figure that out. But on that offensive glass, he gives the Detroit Pistons second and third chances, which is gonna help their team win. Andre Drummond checks in at number three. Number two, DeAndre Jordan. Now DeAndre Jordan made first team all NBA. And I'm not gonna argue that he should not have. I mean, the guy can play. He gives the Clippers what they need, I get it. And maybe the most imposing big man in the league. He knows how to play, he plays his role, and he knows how to win, despite his deficiencies on the offensive end. Number one, DeMarcus Cousins. The most talented big man I've seen in the NBA since Shaquille O'Neal. Gets it done in the paint unstoppable haven't seen anybody stop this young man if he misses a shot like moses malone used to do he'll go get the second and third opportunity has every type of shot you need to be consistent right now not believing not showing the leadership as high as he should but the one thing you can't doubt this young man is the most talented big man in the nba he checks in at number one